Hello everyone, welcome back to my UE Team official channel. Today I'm Chui again and I will teach you how to uh, mix the landscape video to a portrait video using Filmora. It means all version is uh, doing the same way in Filmora. So, as you can see here, I have one uh, video example here. It is in landscape mode here. It looks like this. Now you can see <coughs> the video is uh, landscape. So today I will show you how to uh, make this video to the portrait version. So <coughs> the first you need to uh, uh, create a new um, project setting with the film brush that you make sure that you want uh, to become a portrait so you have to set up the resolution of the portrait video first so before before you add the video source into the film brush um, tracks here you need to uh, create a new project first so go to the file here and create a new project setting here so click on that and you will see one panel is appearing like this and here is the way that you're gonna set it to uh, the portrait version so uh, it generally is, uh, starting with 120 pixels and uh, for the head uh, for the, uh, the uh, case and for the wise here yes, and for the head is uh, 1280 pixel when you set up this you will see automatically loading to the portrait version of the video and here is the re, uh, the frame rate it should, should be used to uh, 30 frame rate because if you are choosing much the video is uh, very clear and smooth but it takes a lot of gigabytes to render it so I recommend you to choose it only uh, 30 frame rates per second so <clears throat> after you have been already setting up like this now you're gonna click on OK after you have been click on OK it look like something nothing changed like this but uh, the way that we gonna do next is import the video to uh, this track so click on head uh, and find the video that you wanna add um, okay this one and click on that and then add drag it like this to uh, the place and uh, you will see the to mark that uh, asking you do you want this side or you want this side so make sure that you have chosen the project setting so you should be choose this one to keep them in the portrait version so <coughs> here is uh, the portrait side here you can see it is here a black part of the video but don't worry about it we're gonna fix it back now I'm gonna delete some part of the video that is uh, uh, this part on the left part it, because it looked like it he was a uh, computer screen is appearing inside so click on this place and delete or uh, uh, click on delete on keyboard to uh, <coughs> delete any part here Okay, now I'm going to start thing from, uh, <coughs> okay, <coughs> okay, now it, it look, it should be fine now, everything it should be fine, now, um, the next step is, you need to double click on the video track here, so, uh, clicking like this, and you will see uh, one screen panel is appearing like this and now go to click on uh, animation and then click on customize here 
Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, sorry, I can't choose that. So we're gonna click on can start back. Uh, click on OK. Uh, thing you need to do is right click on the videos tracks, not an audio track. Right click on that. <coughs> Okay, when you right click on that, you will see uh, something that called crop and zoom here. Or you can use the shortcut key by pressing Alt plus C. So go ahead and click on this place. <coughs> and this one you're going to choose on a crop, not a pen or zoom. And <coughs> this place, you're going to choose on a custom here. And, and now we're going to setting up like uh, this by dragging like this. Uh, okay. Now by choosing a drag it uh, by using the custom, or you can setting up like uh, the side here. It's completely different, but uh, uh, I'm not recommending you to choose that. But I recommend you to choose uh, to drag it by choosing the custom like this and select uh, any part that you really want to do with that. Uh, it looks like uh, this. So after that, you're going to click on OK. So uh, here we are, and uh, you're going to add some more side to remove uh, the black part of uh, any screen here. And okay, you're gonna do in like this and dragging more like it to keep uh, something that look more fit for you. Okay, look like this. And now we're gonna start it again to play uh, the video here. So uh, you can see it, everything is in the portrait version. Okay. Okay, now, as you can see here, <coughs> okay, after you have been already setting up everything that uh, you think everything is working fine, so now go to export here and name your videos whatever you want and then uh, find the destination folder that you want to uh, export and then click on export here and wait for a while to see um, the video result after it finishing uh, render rings okay after it already render rings like this with a one file that is in the portrait mode now we're going to click on play double click on that and you will see the video is now in the portrait mode so I think you guys understand about it and uh, this is the way that you can uh, make the video to the portrait version it is the way that you can uh, crop up and crop the videos to the portrait so thank you for watching my video tutorial